Steve Piccaro on the sad reality that a lot of rock and roll stars cannot retire. They have to tour. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Rock and roll is not what it used to be. The big paychecks of royalties from record sales or CD sales are dwindling because of streaming, of course. And when you hear about a lot of these classic rockers touring, it's not always because they want to. Sure, some of them would be doing it anyway. And even so, some classic rock fans are saying some of these bands are greedy. That's not always the case. I talked to Steve Piccaro about classic rockers having to tour. I remember seeing, you know, Yes To Me was always an arena band and stuff. And I remember the first time when I was back on the road and I hadn't been on the road. Seriously, I took a 27 year break, you know, a 27 year break. And to go back out on the road and, uh, and during that time, a lot has changed. And thank God that uh, right when all of a sudden everyone started streaming and all of our income for record sales and CD sales went away, all of a sudden all these casinos start springing up all over the place that need some kind of name entertainment. I mean, thank God. So, you know, and I remember the first time seeing uh, playing at a casino with Toto and seeing that Yes was coming to the same casino in a week. And um, what I'm getting at with all this is that, you know, we, you have to acknowledge the fact that a lot of these bands are on the road so much because they have to be. All these guys are just trying to keep their stuff, to be real honest with you, John. They used to have this income stream that's just disappeared, just out of the blue. It's just all of a sudden gone away. And it used to be a substantial income stream. You know, and look at the, and just the whole session scene for, for the longest time, all of us, you know, Toto would go on the road and when we'd come back, we'd all still have our, our careers would still, still all be intact. They wouldn't, you know, they'd always find replacements for us while we were gone. But when we get back, the same Foster and all the Quincy and the guys would still call us up when we were around. You know, we never lost work. We always all had a ton of sessions to do when we got home and we we're very busy I mean, when we were home. And now that's just doesn't exist. Luke feels Luke's got to be on the road all the time. He feels like that's, you know, besides making Toto records, he's just uh, a touring musician now. And just um, when he's home, he feels like he's hemorrhaging money. I love being home. I've Luke doesn't have a home studio. He doesn't do any of that kind of, again, he hates all that stuff. He hates the thought of a home studio. Never wanted to be that guy ever. Doesn't even want to use his iPhone to record a song idea, okay? He's just not that guy. And where I am very much that guy. And, you know, Paige is very much that guy. You know, Joseph, we all have our home studios and we love writing songs and and working in our home studios and, and uh, collaborating with people. And a few outside sessions I get, they all send me files now. No one asks me to come yeah. to a, you know, very rarely do I go down to a studio. That's a very, very rare thing. And I, and I, I got all my stuff here. All my pl- plugins are all in you know, my Mac here, and, uh, um, you know, it's kind of how I always wanted it, but um, I do find myself really missing the interaction. There was, I I was, as much as with Toto, I wanted that time to really, to tweak. They used to beg me, they used to go, why can't you just do what you do with Quincy? You go in there and you'll do synths on three songs in three hours. You're that guy. You go in there and you're able to do that. It's like, well, yeah, but that's, I wanted to differentiate Toto from what I did on a Quincy Jones session. I wanted to show people the difference between, it's so different now and people have to tour. And to me, that's kind of, there's something sad about that, especially these bands where these guys are, you know, our, our, our brother David Page is struggling right now with health issues and whatever. And touring for two months straight in the dead of winter in northern europe it's rough out there sometimes yeah. uh, is he okay uh, is he okay i mean i know you can't i don't want to tell you know it's not a yeah yeah game. yeah it's another conversation but uh you know it's tough when you have to david page personally doesn't have to do anything you know what i mean he's a writer on africa and he doesn't have to do anything he's doing just fine but uh he wants yeah, to but you're a writer on human nature wait a minute I mean, yeah, yeah, no, I'm doing fine too. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't, human nature doesn't, you know, I, I was very, very stupid when I was younger and I was very stupid with my money and I was very stupid with my publishing and where human nature has been incredibly good to me and continues to be good to me, I uh, it doesn't completely pay for my life. I have three kids and uh, two ex-wives and uh, three ex-dogs and... Uh, Anyway, you know, it, it doesn't pay for everything. I do still have to work, and I still want to work. I don't want to 
do nothing. I want. I love working, and I, I'm I'm having fun, kind of taking bows after that 27 year break. <laughs> It's been fun to go out again. Now that the now that the guys kind of appreciate what I do, there's not all the drug nonsense and all that crap going on like there was before. It's it's a different time. We're all kind of older and wiser, and and yeah. for the most part, having fun doing it. I, I just we got started because we were talking about going on the road, and I just wanted to say that you know a lot of these bands, including us, have to go on the road because it just album sales don't don't do it. If you want to see Toto in concert in North America this year, they have their 40 Trips Around the Sun tour. There'll be information, links in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.